feel a little bit uh, guilty, Orient fans, uh, having highlighted your 2-0 lead against Southampton as the standout score of the day because it's now 2-2 and Saints are back on terms. Ricky Lambert with his second goal of the afternoon for Southampton, finishing off uh, from eight yards after meeting across from Adam Lallana. Uh, so Saints have turned it around and got themselves at back level 2-2 there. Uh, also a goal at Brunton Park. Charlton in second were 2-1 down at Carlisle. They had got themselves back into it once early on in the game with a goal from Dion Burton. This time, though, it hasn't gone their way. They trail uh, by three goals to one now. Carlisle in front uh, through Graham Kavanagh with his second off at the afternoon. Carlisle leading Charlton uh, by three goals to one. It looks like the Addicts are going to go down uh, to only their second defeat of the season. Remember, Millwall 1-1 against uh, Colchester at the moment. Orient 2-2 uh, with Southampton. Brentford uh, still 3-0 down at Exeter, but better goal news in League 2. Well, I can tell you Dagenham and Redbridge have equalised against uh, Port Vale and... Uh, increasing their impressive home form again. They've uh, come from behind as they did uh, last week. They did it uh, with uh, a two-goal deficit last weekend against Macclesfield. 1-1 uh, against Port Vale so far today with that uh, uh, equalising goal. Uh, I'll confirm the score for you in just a moment, but I can tell you that uh, Grant Holt has scored for Norwich City at Stockport to put them 3-1 uh, up in uh, League One. Uh, further details from uh, the Stadium of Light. Uh, well, the uh, numerical advantage for West Ham is no more. It's 10 men apiece because Radoslav Kovac has been sent off for West Ham. Slightly better news for them. Darren Bent of Sunderland missing a sitter. It could have been even worse for the Hammers, uh, but Bent has missed a sitter. Not like him at the moment. He's been in great goal-scoring form. Six goals in his last six games, but failing to take the opportunity to put West Ham to the sword at Upton Park. And Kovac sent off. Remember, Sunderland have been playing with 10 men all in the second half after Kenwin Jones uh, was dismissed. But uh, Kovac only playing today because Scott Parker is suspended. He was sent off against Arsenal last weekend and now Kovac himself uh, seeing red. But 2-2 is still the way it stands. We're expecting full-time whistles any moment now, of course, uh, in uh, the vast majority of these matches. Latest from Goodison Park, Billy Etdenoff of Everton sent off. So many red cards around today. I haven't had a chance to, to top them all up yet, but uh, another one here at Goodison Park. Billy Etdenoff uh, dismissed. Looked like a hard decision, a harsh decision. This is uh, his tackle didn't seem that bad, but uh, the referee Lee Probert has uh, dismissed him. Billy Etdenoff had, of course, scored for Everton earlier on, but John Carew equalised. Uh, moments later, Another red card, uh, Carlos Quayla for Aston Villa has uh, gone. Uh, the referee has uh, evened things up. He was sent off with the crowd baying for red after a poor challenge. Uh, I can tell you eight red cards in total in the Premier League alone so far this afternoon. And I dare suggest it's been a little while since uh, we last saw that statistic. But uh, two of them now at Goodison Park. Remember two as well at the Stadium of Light where it's 2-2 two -two between uh, Sunderland and West Ham. I can tell you Fulham have beaten Liverpool. Rafa Benitez is looking furious as he uh, trudges away. It's a what's that fifth defeat in six games now in all competitions uh, for Liverpool. In fact, it might even be six in seven, I think it is, if you include that uh, Carling Cup game. Uh, where they were beaten, of course, by Arsenal. They've been beaten in the capital again this afternoon, 3 1 at Fulham, and they end that game with nine men. Two of the red cards coming at Craven Cottage. Dagan and Carragher both sent off for Liverpool, but Zamora, Neverland and Dempsey uh, get the goals, and uh, Rafa Benitez having really got himself uh, out of trouble and uh, eased the pressure on his shoulders with that win against Manchester United last weekend. Well, he's right back in the mire now, and he looks to be muttering all sorts of things under his breath uh, as he disappears uh, across the pitch and down the tunnel at Craven Cottage after a 3-1 win for Fulham, but what a result that is uh, for Roy Roy Hodgson and his side uh, well deserved as well in the second half Liverpool really capitulated and uh, poor preparation for their vital trip uh, to Lyon in the Champions League where they certainly can't afford to lose they really need to win that one just the three points from nine available so far in the Champions League group stages for Liverpool big problems uh, for Benitez uh, Charlton as I say 3-1 down at uh, Carlisle I can tell you that goal from uh, Graham Kavanagh a scorcher uh, from long distance into the top right corner of the net Scott Doby uh, with the assist I can tell you as well there's been another goal at Fratton Park 
And we have a hat trick here for Aruna Dindan of Portsmouth. 4 0 against Wigan. Finally, they've remembered how to win at Fratton Park. They did it against Stoke City in the Carling Cup in the week 4 0. And they've done it again, more importantly, surely in the Premier League. And uh, Dindan with a hat trick for Pompey. No Pompey striker, as I've mentioned a couple of times, had scored at all in the Premier League this season. Well, Dindan has three today. Portsmouth have four, running away with it against uh, Wigan Athletic. Poor result for them. Leeds have uh, won by four goals and against Yeovil. Uh, in League One. Derby have lost at Ipswich. First time that uh, that's applied to any team this season. Ipswich at the 15th attempt in the Championship have their first win of the season by uh, one goal to nil. All over at Turf Moor. Hull City have lost 2-0 at Burnley. Phil Brown is uh, shaking hands with all the uh, Burnley staff is that his last game in charge of Hull? All the reports were that if he uh, lost today, his job would uh, be no more. Well, we shall see, but uh, that's a damaging defeat. But Burnley back on form at home, 2-0. The victory there all over as well at Goodison Park. Everton won. Aston Villa won. Both teams finishing it with 10 men. Billy Etdenoff put Everton in front. He was later sent off. Carew equalised for Villa right at the start of the second half. He had Carlos Quayle uh, sent off as well. But it is all over in that one. Let's go to Phil Kittram Elidis in the uh, LBC Sports Centre. What a day. We've had loads of goals and eight red cards as well. Can't ask for much more drama. Yeah, eight red cards. It is a uh, Premier League record. Never before have so many been shown. Uh, we thought it might be a good afternoon. And so it has... Pre- and given how Chelsea, Arsenal and Man United are all playing, I think Liverpool are out of it. It is looking very much that way. I think I tend to agree with you. Five defeats already this season in the Premier League for Liverpool. They only suffered two, of course, in the whole of last year. And even that wasn't enough uh, for the title. Phil Kitchen will lead us in the LBC uh, Sports Centre. Much more from him in the final hour of the programme as well. Can, con- uh, can confirm that the full-time whistle has gone at the Stadium of Light. Missed opportunity, surely, uh, for West Ham. 2-2, it has finished. They were 2-0 up. Sunderland played the entire second half uh, with 10 men, but was still the better side. And in the end... Uh, fortunate maybe West Ham to even get a point from that game all over at the Britannia Stadium as well it's also finished 2-2 there and again Stoke City will see that as two points drop they were 2-0 up uh, BT and Etherington with the goals Jody Craddock with a couple uh, for Wolves though uh, well let's tell you that Millwall have got a last minute winner against Colchester I think the whistle's actually gone as well 2-1 to Millwall 90th minute goal uh, from James Henry on loan from Reading they were 1-0 down for a long period in that game uh, but they've turned it around the lines, unbeaten in six now. Let's go to the Rugby Guinness Premiership. London derby all over between uh, Harlequins and London Irish. How did this one finish? Simon Ward. It's finished even. Stevens, Harlequins nine, London Irish nine. A highly unsatisfying game, really. Decided by Rory Clegg's final kick of the match, which tied things up after Peter Hewitt's 71st minute penalty. Up until then, it had been a harem scaring performance in which neither side were really able to impose any structure, and consequently there was never any real foundations for ambition or phase play. Stowers and Mapper Sewer with strong pivots for the visitors. Brown, Strettle and Dranui struggled manfully with the scraps they got for the Quins. 14,000 plus here will feel somewhat short-changed after a match that finished Harlequins 9, London Irish 9. Simon, thanks very much. Simon Ward reporting for us uh, this afternoon on that uh, London derby in the Guinness Premiership. Charlton have lost by uh, three goals to one at Carlisle. Full time now at uh, Brunton Park. Uh, Gordon Strachan's been beaten in his first game as Middlesbrough manager. Second from bottom, Plymouth winning by a goal to nil. So a good afternoon for the teams at the bottom of the championship. Ipswich finally getting uh, their first win of the season as well as a say by a goal to nil against Derby. David Wright uh, got that goal for them. It's all over at Fratton Park. First home win of the season in the Premier League uh, for Portsmouth. A penalty from Aaron uh, Dindan making it 4-0 to complete uh, his hat-trick and what a result that is uh, for Pompey. They'd really been struggling for goals all season. Just five in nine before today. They almost matched their total for the entire season in one afternoon in the Premier League against uh, Wigan. Uh, Din down with that hat-trick picky and also on target. Very, very important win for them. Very, very important win uh, for Chelsea. Four goals to nil against Bolton for the second time in the space of four days. Didier Drogba wrapped it up. The Blues at the moment are five points clear at the top of the Premier League. Manchester United could change that when they play at Blackburn later, but Arsenal are above United just at the moment after their win over Tottenham and a crucial victory as well uh, for Fulham. Liverpool beaten for the fifth time this season are they out of the title race already and West Ham well they were 2-0 down against Arsenal got a point last weekend 2-0 up at Sunderland and still they can't get that second win of the season all the reaction is on the way on scores on 
FM。